Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com and I welcome you all to the Salesforce Lightning Flows course. Before we jump in, I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of what this course is all about and what are we going to be covering in this course. So first of all, what are flows and why you should learn them? So flows allows you to build complex business automation with the help of clicks instead of writing code. And it also allows you to provide end users with quick screens to input the data. So that is a basic understanding of flows. Is. So if you want to build any complex business logic, then you can use flows to build them. And you don't even have to write a single line of code. You can do all of that with the help of clicks. Now, if you are a system admin, you should definitely know flows. And if you are a developer, you must know flows. The another reason that sales you should be learning about flows is because Salesforce has announced in Dreamforce that they will be getting rid of process builders and workflows. So the only automation tool that will be available to you will be flows. So if you have not learned about them, then this is the time that you must learn about flows. So flows are being used by not only admins, but also by developers. So if you are an admin and you are being dependent on developers to write the complex logic, then you don't have to wait any longer. You can do it yourself. And if you are a developer who has been writing lots of Apex code, you don't have to write that anymore because that logic, you can move it to your flows. What are we going to cover in this particular course? So this course is not a programming course, first of all. So if you are not a programmer, don't worry. You don't have to know the basics or anything about programming to take this course. Second thing is I'm assuming you know a little bit about the out of the box features of Salesforce, like what are objects? How do you create objects? Things of that sort, not in detail, but just the basics, I hope. And if you are having a zeal and interest to learning about flows, then this is the course for you. Now, what are we going to be covering in this particular course? So we will cover all the different types of flows that are there, like screen flows, auto launch flows. We have record triggered flow. We have a schedule flow. We have platform event triggered flow, etc. Now, all of these flows, we are not just going to be creating one example or something like that. No, we will be doing learning about these flows with the help of real world business requirements. So I will give you at, a, at the start of every uh, tutorial, I will be giving you the requirement and then we will be building that requirement through the flows. And this course is going to be a very hands on course. We will be covering a lot of business requirements and a lot of complex real time scenarios in this course. So through this course, you will also learn each and every element that is available in the canvas, like loops, decision element, fault paths, then screens, how to uh, input data and uh, how to launch the flows from different places, from home page, from buttons, from other flows, etc. So we will be covering all of that in this particular course. Now I want to give you a quick walk through of the scenarios that we are going to be covering. These are not all the scenarios that we will be covering, but just to give you that what it is inside the course. So first of all, we will start with the screen flows, then we will move over to record triggered flow, then we'll talk about scheduled flow, and then later on we'll cover the platform event triggered flow. So that is going to be the different sections that are covered in the course. So the screen flow, we will be building one of the screen flow that we will be building is we will be updating a collection of account records. We will be updating the shipping addresses on them. And as you can see here, this is just a snapshot of the flow that we will be building. So that is the first scenario that we'll be doing. And the other one is we will be also creating a second screen flow. This is one of the examples. You have a lot of screen flows out there that I have put it inside the course. So as you can see here in this course, we will be having a screen to capture the data from input from the user to get the account information, contact information and case. And from that single screen, we will be creating three records and we will be relating them to each other. And if the account record it already exists, then we will be linking those records to that particular existing account object. So this is one of the screen flow that we will also be building inside of the course. Then we will be jumping to the record trigger flow. And uh, this is one of the example that we will be covering platform event triggered flow, etc. So all of these will be covered inside of the course. Now there are so many other flows courses out there, but why is this course different from the rest of those? 
So if you have taken any of my previous courses, then you should know by now that my courses are very hands-on courses. It's not a plain or a boring PowerPoint presentation. I teach students with the help of examples and not just a, any simple examples, but also very real-time uh, scenarios. So all of my courses out there are based on the work that I have already worked in the previous job places or at my workplace. So I've tried to implement the same kind of scenarios in this course as well. So there are going to be a lot of real-time scenarios covered. Along with that, in every section, you can check out my course. I have added quizzes. I have also added assignments for you. So when you are practicing along with me and if you're going to be, you'll be doing a lot of assignments to keep you engaging, to keep you motivated so that you can finish the course as well. And various examples on each type of flow is covered, not just one example on every topic. It's various business requirements are covered in this particular course. And another point is I am going to be updating the course on a regular basis and I have done that in, in the past. So I have moved from classic over to lightning. I've updated my previous courses. So I will be doing the same with this particular course as well. So this course is going to be very engaging. It's going to be with a lot of uh, practical examples, will be a lot of quizzes and assignments for you, etc. And the complexity of the of the flows will gradually increase. I'm not going to build a complex logic up front, I'm going to start gradually and then eventually down the line, we will be building more complex logic inside of this particular course. Now, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and enroll in this course and I'm going to see you inside the course. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye-bye. Take care.